What's up, Creed? Welcome to your Tuesday demo video. We'll start off with our warm up here. We got one minute of cardio into four sets, 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. Movement one and movement two will be done together as one set here, so it should last a whole minute. Jumping jacks is our movement one, air squats is movement two. So for our cardio options, we can do jumping jacks here. We can go down to the ground, or sorry, we can do high knees, to high knees. And then we go down to the ground and we can do mountain climbers as well. And then we can flip it on over if we'd like to and do a seated run. And then after our minute of cardio, going into four sets, 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off, a little Tabata timer here. Movement one will be jumping jacks. And then movement two will be air squats. All right, we should touch on both of these movements four times each. All right, it should last four minutes, total of five minutes in that warm up there. All right, then Tuesday's workout, we've got a baseline at two tests. So the second baseline test here, we got four sets for max reps. All right, so the way we're scoring this is obviously gonna be for reps. One minute of air squats, one minute of dumbbell power cleans, one minute of double unders or single unders here, and then one minute of a dumbbell push press. Once you get done with all four of those movements, you have a one minute rest and then an optional finisher after you get done with four sets, obviously. You have a max crab hold, so you're holding for as long as you can, one attempt in four minutes. So whatever time you get there would be great to mark that down as well. So the baseline test, we're starting off with air squats. So no weight needed. We're trying to rep out as many air squats in one minute as we can, making sure our chest stays tall. Make sure these reps are nice and fast and we get low and we also stand all the way back up to the top. All right, make sure we lock those hips out at the top of every rep for them to count. Then we have dumbbell power cleans, all right? So we're starting from the floor with these reps. Hips low, we explode up, drive those hips through the dumbbell. Big shrug once that dumbbell gets to about hip height. And then we're letting that dumbbell fly up on top of our shoulder with that elbow high and we'll catch in that front rack position. All right, and we can go 30 seconds on the right arm, 30 seconds on the left arm, or you can alternate each rep, or you can just do your right arm for the full minute, and the next set you come through, you can do your left arm, all right? And then we have double unders and single unders here, all right? If you don't have a rope, obviously we can go jump, or, uh, ghost rope here, um, or you can do a line hop side to side or forward and back. All right, just find a line somewhere, or maybe even an imaginary line if you'd like to for those jump ropes, all right? Double unders and single unders. Then minute four, we'll have dumbbell push press, same idea here with the dumbbell for rep scheme. You can alternate each rep or you can go 30 seconds on the right arm, 30 seconds on the left arm, or go one arm for a full minute. The next round it comes through, switch to the opposite arm. But with this push press motion, it is a single knee bend, slight knee bend, shallow dip, drive, and punch, and we're locking out once that dumbbell starts to rise to the top. Think bicep to ear here, putting that head to the hole, and as we get to the top, we lock out and come back down, all right? Then our rest for one minute after that full set, and then we'll go into a four minute cap for our max crab hold. All right, this is our optional finisher here, optional finisher. So we're gonna be in that crab position. Notice how her hips are high, she's driving through her heels, she's pushing those hands into the ground, she's not sagging into her shoulders, she's making sure her shoulders stay active. And you can place a glass of water on top of your hips here. If your hips can't get that high, if they can't match your shoulders and your knees, that means we got some tight hips and we should probably work on that. But after that max crab hole finisher, that is our workout for the day. You guys go crush it.